First Alert Weather with Caitlin Napoleone. Happy Monday, everyone. We do have that rain making its way through our area. You can see the heavier showers are still off to the west of us. Some lighter showers, uh, probably barely getting much in Burlington, but there are a couple of those spotty showers, of course, moving their way through the islands and into northern and northwestern Vermont. Burlington again getting a couple of those showers. The slightly heavier rain falling over Franklin and into Essex counties now. Maybe a little bit of that, a uh, little pocket of that again over southwestern portions of Essex County. All this is moving to the east. The heavier stuff off to the west of us. Uh, we'll begin to take over later on this afternoon as we head into or as that band of rain heads into Vermont as it does. We could also see a couple of these uh, showers have embedded thunderstorms within them. Some of them could be on the stronger side, which is why from the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center, we are under a marginal risk for the severe weather today. Now don't panic. Uh, we are under this green shaded area. Again, that's the marginal risk. It's basically a level one out of five. So that risk is low. It means any of the storms that we do get won't be very widespread at all, but they could in some very localized areas include the potential for some large hail. We'll have potentially some damaging wind gusts too. A lot of heavy rain in some of these pockets and frequent lightning. That is if these thunderstorms do become stronger later on this afternoon. And although it doesn't look like it, we still have that potential heading into the afternoon hours. A couple different reasons. Had some sunshine earlier this morning. That does create a little bit of instability. And there is still some sunshine over Dartmouth College in Hanover. You can see through the scaffolding there. Uh, there is definitely some sun still left over. Not the case over Whiteface. Had some showers on and off there. People still at the top there enjoying the beautiful views. But of course, the rain will be rolling through from west to east as the day goes on. We also have, along with that sunshine from earlier in the day, the warm air. It's pulling in that warm air behind a warm front. Also a lot of moisture advecting into the area. And we will see the combination of those two things really help us out when it comes to a couple of those thunderstorms later on today. And especially as a cold front right behind this warm front moves across that warm and unstable air, prompting again the chance for more of those thunderstorms. There's the drier air taking over behind that, and we'll get a taste of that as we head into your Tuesday. But in the meantime, we'll have, a, we'll have to keep an eye on those thunderstorms for later on this afternoon. You can see the effects of that rain so far. Much cooler in northern New York at the moment. They're in the 70s. We're in the low and mid 80s for much of Vermont, including Burlington right now at 84 degrees. Not quite as warm in Newport at 75. This afternoon, still a couple more degrees to go for a lot of us, especially the further south and east that you are. You folks still have that sunshine helping you guys out. Here is your future cast showing some more of those showers. And again, we're not out of the woods necessarily when it comes to those thunderstorms. There's still that opportunity. Uh, you can see some of those moving their way through northern Vermont later on this evening. Overnight tonight, a spot shower, mostly just a few lingering clouds. And we'll have some of those for your Tuesday with a chance, especially in the mountains for a couple spotty showers. But I think majority of us on your Tuesday are going to be nice and dry. And even more so into Wednesday, we'll have plenty more of that sunshine. When it comes to the end of the week, there are a lot of question marks. Mostly dry Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday night and Thursday, a new system will dip into the area, bringing us a chance for some showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms. Uh, leading into Friday and all the way through the weekend, there's still that opportunity to get a couple of those showers, depending on where that exact front stalls out or if it doesn't at all. We're still uh, really looking at, at that and working it out. So just know that there is, although we have some sunshine in the forecast for the middle and end of the work week, a chance for a couple of those spotty showers, along with an eventual cool down as we head into the weekend too.